In this video, I want to show some techniques for positioning holes using synchronous technology. A lot of our users are starting to use synchronous uh, since the integrated environment came out with ST3. And I've heard this question a couple of times. What do you do about positioning holes using synchronous technology on cylindrical faces? So I'm going to show you a couple of techniques. Right now I'm in the synchronous mode and I've got my model here, which is comprised of a lot of cylindrical faces. So <clears throat> the first thing I'm going to do is pick on the hole command here. And you notice that in synchronous technology, Solid Edge will automatically make that hole tangent to whatever face you pick up on your mouse over. And this is kind of handy for quickly positioning holes, but I like using a reference plane because it gives you a few more tools for accurately positioning them. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn on my base reference planes and I'm going to create a new coincident plane right on top of my XY plane. And the reason I do that, I'll just hide that base reference plane again, is because with Solid Edge, when you got a reference plane selected, you can use the steering wheel to move it back and forth or even rotate it. So the idea is you need a reference plane, kind of make one anywhere, and then use the steering wheel to position it wherever you want. In this case, I'm going to move it parallel from where it is positioned, and with my key point filter set to silhouette edges, I'm going to snap to the tangent edge of the cylinder. That's where I want to position this first hole. So I've got a reference plane right there. Now I'm going to go to the hole command and this time I'm going to mouse over my reference plane and you see I get this little lock icon. If I click on that or hit F3 that's going to lock my hole feature to that plane. Now hitting control H takes me into the view of the plane that I'm locked on and this is where I'm going to position my hole. First, let's turn on hidden edges so we can see uh, some more geometric features of this part. And I'm going to set my hole filter over here, uh, or my key point filter rather, to all key points because that's going to give me the most tools to pick up on key points like this midpoint here. And then you see I can kind of snap that so I know that my hole is positioned in the center. Now, once my hole is positioned, of course, I can use my arrows to move it up or down from where it was originally placed and I can key in a value. Or better yet, I can go over here and place a dimension between that hole and any other piece of geometry. And that'll give me a way to accurately position that hole relative to another piece of geometry. Let's say I want it exactly one and a half inches from this slot cut in here. Notice too that in synchronous technology, keep in mind that because it's not history based, you have directional control, meaning that I can choose to change a dimension by moving either that hole or the other piece of geometry it's connected to, in this case, that slot, and then I'm modifying the width of that slot. So bear that in mind when you're positioning uh, dimensions in synchronous technology. So there's one example. Let's take another look. This time I'm going to position a hole along the face of this collar. And I'm going to use a reference plane again, but I'm going to use a tangent plane. This works very similar to how it did in ordered. It's pretty straightforward. You click on a cylindrical edge, and then you can position that plane by keying a dimension or snapping to a key point. In this place, I'll snap to that midpoint of that boss. So again, I'll pick up on my hole command. Notice that it, it's still locked to that plane uh, that I originally selected. So I'm going to click this icon to unlock it, and then go and find my new plane here and then hit F3 or click the little icon to lock to that plane. So again, control H and I want to pick up on that midpoint there, but I, I want to position my hole so that it's lined up with the midpoint of that boss, but actually situated somewhere on that collar. So that's going to let me do that. And again, I can put in a dimension and start really positioning that with some degree of precision. So now I've got that other hole here. 